Hey guys, yes, it's, uh, it's me again, um, on a Tuesday this time, but last time I did this uh, Jax on a Tuesday thing, you guys were very disturbed um, at my attempt at that, so I won't do that again. Let's just get, let's just, let's do the tech news. AMD held their capsaicin and cream event today, and it was a little less exciting uh, than we hoped. There was no uh, Vega reveal other than the fact that the upcoming GPUs will indeed be named Radeon RX Vega, but there were a number of intriguing announcements and demos. First off, there was a Deus Ex demo showing a 50% increase in FPS when using Vega's high bandwidth cache controller feature, and another demo showing double the hair strands being rendered using Vega's rapid pack math feature. So much hair. AMD also announced a deal with Bethesda to implement Vulkan's support in their titles. Doom got a sizable performance boost on AMD hardware with Vulkan, so this sounds like Great news! LiquidSki, a PC game streaming platform, will also use Vega GPUs to supercharge its service, hoping to provide some big competition to NVIDIA's GeForce Now. There was some more stuff about increased support for VR-specific technologies, but the real important bit was the announcement of Sprint Vector, a new game by the developers of Raw Data. If you're interested in all the nitty-gritty details, make sure you hit up the news sources linked in the description. Raspberry Pi has come out with a new computer that is even smaller than before. It's the Raspberry Pi Zero W, the follow-up to the Raspberry Pi Zero that came out in October 2015. It's been a year since Raspberry Pi announced their last product, the Raspberry Pi 3, and the foundation's newest model includes wireless connectivity as well as Bluetooth. It has the same specs as the original, a 1 GHz single-core Broadcam BCM2835 CPU, 512 megabytes of RAM, but of course with the addition of 802.11n Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0. The original Pi Zero will stay at $5, while this new model will get a $10 price tag for those new features. And YouTube has just announced YouTube TV, a $35 per month subscription TV service that packages a bundle of channels from broadcast networks like uh, Fox, ABC, CBS, and NBC, as well as cable channels related to those broadcasters like ESPN and Bravo. The service will get its own app separate from YouTube Red, and it's expected to be mobile first, so most people will be watching from their phones, but will have the option to watch on laptops and TVs through Chromecast as well. YouTube boasts that this new service includes a cloud DVR with unlimited storage space, a recommendation system powered by Google AI, and that it's a more reliable and steady platform than its competitors. The company is also hoping to start Start up relationships with Time Warner, maybe in the future, to get some HBO content. But of course, this is only going to be available in US at some point this spring. We'll see if YouTube cares about the rest of the world eventually. It's time for shorter news stories that more quickly than the others. A new report from Wall Street Journal says that Apple's next generation iPhone will ditch the lightning port connector in favor of the industry standard USB-C connection. Oh. And it's only just the beginning. The Xbox One has just added a new way to play old titles, and it's called Xbox Game Pass, which is another Netflix for games concept, allowing you to access a library of around 100 games from both Xbox 360, as well as the one, for $10 a month. Amazon is currently working on a feature that will help its digital assistant, Alexa, recognize and distinguish between multiple voices. Apparently LG is going to reveal a headset based on Valve's VR platform at GDC, which is happening right now. And that's exciting because LG's last VR headset for their G5 phone was one of the worst things I've experienced, so it's only up from here, LG. Kingston's 2TB USB drive was revealed at CES this year, and now they are ready to ship what is the world's highest capacity USB drive. There's a 1TB version for only $940 American, and the 2TB model costs $1,620. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. There is only one Zlatan. You know him? Hey guys, just a reminder that it's the last day of February, and so we will be announcing the winner of Fans with Benefits and the newsletter prize, which is a Fractal Design prize pack, tomorrow. To be entered for the prize, subscribe to the newsletter, and if you already are subscribed, claim uh, your newsletter rewards for this month. Click down below for the link so you can do that and uh, be entered for some sick prizes. Alright, that's it for NetLink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos, and check us out on Twitter over here. 
But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And now, I shall be leaving.